Okay, hey everybody. Um, so this is Yorkshire Dave. Uh, this is a new Let's Play, uh, starting Baldur's Gate One Enhanced Edition, um, which I got from Steam. Uh, it's usually on special offer a lot of the time. I think that's how I got it. Um, this is going to be a blind LP. Uh, I've never played Baldur's Gate before. I know. I know what you're saying. How is it possible? that you've never played Baldur's Gate before? Um, well, the answer is I haven't, so there you go. Um, back in the day when this when this came out, I think I was I was well into like console games and sports games, and um, I've always been a bit of a fantasy geek. I've always read fantasy books from, from when I could read. Um, but I, it's taken me a while uh, to, to, to really come to the games. Um, that are kind of that ilk, you know, RPG type style. Um, but I saw Baldur's Gate one, and I thought, why not? I, I, I don't think there are probably that many blind Baldur's Gate LPs online because everybody's already played it a million times. So maybe this is really boring for people, and maybe nobody will watch this. But um, I, I hope it's I hope it's of some amusement. You can watch me catastrophically fail, probably. Um, so I already started to record this and realized that actually it was pretty boring for you guys watching me try and build a character so I've kind of had some thoughts and I've, I'm fairly confident I know what character I'm going to build um, there is a, a great FMV beforehand um, before we get to that stage so um, I'll let us watch that and then get on with building our character and and see what happens um, okay cool Oh dear. It's not very nice of him, is it? Baldur's Gate. Okay, so single player, new game and we're going to create a character so we're going to be a man just because that's a bit easier for me to relate to and we are going to be a half orc So basically we're going to be a fighter, we're going to be a scrapper. We don't really know much about the world. We've just concentrated on bashing people and fighting friends as we've grown up with swords and shields made out of wood and timber. Um, so our folks are born from the union of human and old parents. Duh. Um, they're as tall as humans, but a little heavier due to their muscular build. Um, half orcs are tolerated as unlike in the north. The local people haven't had centuries of warfare with all kind. Half orcs are known for their great strength. So plus one strength, plus one constitution. Obviously great for a fighter. And minus two intelligence. So class. Um, I had a look at these. Uh, to be honest, I think. Uh, we are just going to be a generic fighter. Um, I thought about Berserker, so you have a, the ability to use Rage 
Um, so you basically become this absolute immense berserker. Um, but the berserker also gains 10, uh, 15 temporary hit points, which are taken away at the end of his berserk spree, possibly knocking him unconscious. I assume if you, um, you know, if you've also been beaten up pretty badly, so you don't have 15 uh, hit points actually left. Um, and then after that, you then get minus two penalty to armor class to hit rolls and damage rolls. So you be you better bloody hope that you're beating everybody up, otherwise you're gonna get spanked. Um, and I thought about this. Um, I think a half orc probably does have an animalistic side, and I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I don't think that we're a wizard slayer. I don't think we will have had that much. Um, exposure to to wizards and to magic, perhaps. Um, and Kensai, uh, I, I don't think that really suits for a half orc. I think for our character, I think Dave the half orc. I think he's he's a berserker. He's a berserker. Alignment. So I was thinking potentially chaotic neutral. Um, they tend to follow whatever whim strikes them at the moment. Um, neutral evil. I think we're going to be this. I think we're going to be this because it's funny that it's 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 called neutral evil. Um, neutral evil characters are primarily concerned with themselves and their own advancement. I don't particularly think that that is a bad thing. Um, they have no particular objection to working with others or going it on their own. Um, if there is a quick and easy way to gain a profit, uh, whether it be legal, questionable, or obviously illegal, they take advantage of it. I think that's what we're going to be. Um, I think we'll we'll see how it goes with the illegal thing. I think our character is... he's focused on himself and developing himself and, and becoming the best warrior that he can be. Um, and he's not really bothered what other people think about that, or other people's objectives, or other people's uh, beliefs, or uh, you know, com compulsions or what have you. Um, but I mean, I think this maybe I think this is the best that we're going to get. They have no qualms about betraying their friends and companions for personal gain. Um, we'll have a th we'll have a think how we're going to do. I think our character is focused on himself. Um, if we're allied with someone and then our intentions start to diverge, then I think yes, we probably can betray them. But I don't think we would necessarily necessarily betray them as such if we were um, friends with them. So, but I think this is the best that we're going to get. I think chaotic evil, um, just you know beating people up and murdering people and things like that. That's not what we're about. We're about personal development. Um, and we're not really concerned with other people, so we'll go with that. Abilities. 78. Okay, so we've got... Th I'm, I've decided we're going to have three rerolls. See what we get. So we've got a 76. A 75. Or oh, I've seen them in the 80s before. I've seen them in the 80s. Oh, darn it. Okay, so we're tremendously charismatic, uh, and not not particularly strong, and constitution as well for a fighter. I mean, come on, that's, it's got to be better than that, hasn't it? Um, hmm. I think we may take. Uh, sorry, take a couple off dexterity. Put them onto constitution. Take one off Wisdom, again on Constitution. Take a couple off Charisma, Constitution and Strength. I think that's more appropriate. And Skills. So we've got four proficiency slots. You've been given proficiencies to start your character. They represent the ability to effectively use weapons. If your character is a fighter, you'll be able to choose the same proficiency up to five times. Okie dokie. So, uh, bastard sword. 
does more damage than a long sword, but less than a two-handed sword. I think we're going to be. A, I think our guy is a, is a sword and shield, as I said before. He's been, he's been, he's grown up, and he's been practicing with whoever he can find in the yard, and um, you know, with shields and swords made of sticks and twigs and whatever's whatever's come to hand. So, I think bastard sword for sure. Um, And it's definitely going to be sword and shield style, I think. Um, so the wheel get the wheel to get to minus two bonus to armor class against missile weapons. That's pretty handy. That's pretty handy. Um, I think as well, he's, he's if there wasn't a sword around, he's quite happy to bludgeon people because he's a half orc. Um, he's got that muscular build. He's happy to just beat on people. Um, so I think we'll go for Morning Star. So we've got one point left. One point left. Um, what to have? I think, I think Dave. Uh, Dave the half orc. It's not a very half orc name, but he's a half orc, so clearly his his humour pair is like ah, call, call him Dave. Call him Dave. Box standard. Um, nothing wrong with the name Dave. <laughs> um, I think our character is a little bit arrogant. Um, you know, he, he just he wants to be the best fighter he can be. He thinks he's better than all the rest. Um, he'd be quite happy, even though he's sword and shield style. He's quite happy on the odd occasion to just pick up a two-handed sword and just start trying to welly somebody. So, there we go. Appearance, I'm not really that bothered. That'll do. It's fine. Um, Get over here! I don't know. Let's give them a right thrashing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't really resist that. Let's give them a right thrashing. <laughs> you got this coming! Uh, <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Uh, no, thank you. Your life ends here. God, they're they're all fairly Death effeminate, to aren't you they? All. Mm hmm. Tough one. Let's give them a right thrashing. <laughs> oh. It doesn't really fit with Get the, over here. that. Probably fits with the characters, doesn't it? Although I really did want male five and uh, name. Davidoff, young half orc Davidoff. There we go. That'll do. I'll do. Day for sure. Day for sure. Okay. Nestled atop the cliffs Here we go. that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Varan. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, 
and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Hmm, intriguing. Okay, welcome to Candlekeep, your home. As you move around the keep, you will find green robed monks. No character should walk over and talk with them. Many important messages will be given to you through the text window on the bottom of the screen. To expand and contract this window, simply use the two small buttons on the right. Okay, so I should say I'm I'm going to take my time with this. Um, for those, for anybody who's watched my um, Let's Play Bob Bobbids, they'll know I'm 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 not great at computer games. Um, that's hopefully that's part of the fun, watching me make uh, stupid mistakes and dying all the time and what have you. Um, I have played the tutorial for Baldur's Gate to try and get a feel for the controls, but I am definitely going to take my time and. Um, and, and pick it up as I go along. Um, so that's kind of my disclaimer, if you like. Um, so we've got our map. I guess we need to get in here to see Orion after we've bought our bought our things, um, our diary. Gorion, my foster father, has informed me that we must immediately leave Candlekeep and set out on a journey. He has given me some gold and I must purchase supplies for the road, including weapons and armor. Okay, ah, so here's my inventory. So base, echo, so... Um, my understanding is that I need to get my uh, thaco as low as possible. Um, and my armor class as low as possible as well. Um, I'm trying to remember. I definitely know you have to get these as low as possible, like uh, you know, the, the, to increase your character skill. Um, I'm trying to remember how the dice rolls work. Um, I will. I will look that up. Uh, and get back to you. I did. I did look it up a while ago, and I forgot now. But I know you have to get these as low as possible. Um, I think if you're if you're rolling to hit, it's your Thaco minus their armor class, and you have two dice, and you have to roll over it. Um, so. Obviously, the lower their armor class, the less it takes off your Thaco. So the higher number that you have to beat with two dice. Um, I think that's right. I think that's right. Um, and similarly, if someone's trying to hit you, then then the, then the same applies. So the lower your armor class, and I think it can go into negative numbers from what I've, from the little bit of reading that I've done. If you imagine Thaco minus a minus number is actually a plus, so um, that's what we need to think about. Um, okay, that's just our character record. Spells, that's probably not going to be of use to us because, well, we're a fighter. And save game. Okay, that will be that will be of use. Oh, and I think I've rested. I should have joined the army. Fair enough. Really, Davidoff, must you sleep out in the open? Please go see Winthrop in the inn if you need a place to rest. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying things out. I'm just trying things out. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Um. Okie doke. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and buy some stuff. Okay. Right, what's this then? My old girl's as clean as an elven arse. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold book piece entrance fee as per Candlekeep's custom diet, you know. Um, he can't really be serious, can he? Um. That is outrageous. Nah, 
I think we'll go for number two. You always wear the big killer wings one. That gets funnier very nearly every time I hear it. Or perhaps not quite so often. Ah, just having a bit of fun with you. The monks are walking about with poles in their nethers. <laughs> but you know you're always welcome. Grind did well by you. So is there anything I can do for you? Um, sure. Um, what have you got? Okay, what? So we've got a hundred gold. We've got a hundred gold. Um, ah, so that that's ours. This is what we can buy. Okay. So we do have a proficiency with a morning star. So that's something to bear in mind. I can't see any swords at the moment. Um, ah, here we go. Bastards of 41 gold pieces. 41? That's insane. What else can we get? Wow, we. Go on, blimey. Okay, a helmet for a gold. We can, we can do that. Um, at this stage, um, perhaps a medium shield, medium shield, um, and ooh, let's get some leather armor, that will do, uh, we've got 80, we've got 80. So, we can afford it. Um, and do we want a morning star as well? I don't think so. I think we'll stop there. We can always come back, can't we, if we need, if we need anything else, because we might need to buy food or, or potions or something, I suppose. Um, I don't think we need a room right now, do we? So, um, okay. I think that will do us. I think that will do us. Done. Um, okay, so let's equip our character. So we've got a shield and a sword and some armor and a helmet. Okie dokie. So that's brought our armor class down to seven. That's super. Um, Bastard Swords. 2d4, strength plus 1. Uh, 3 to 9. So it hits on a roll of a 3 to 9, is that right? I assume so. Um, I assume that's what we need to roll. Perhaps. Or is maybe that is the damage in between it can like the limits of the damage that it can do in terms of hit points so it can do between three and nine so I assume when you roll and you hit then you also roll to see how many hit points um, let me get offhand in here. Oh, okay okay cool is there anyone else that we can talk to in here hello child Buy items by talking to the keeper of the store. You can also rest by renting a room. Try to hear a few rumors or attempt a little shoplifting. Um, Okie doke, thanks. Ooh, what's in here? It's locked. Hmm. No time for chit chat. Well, that's a bit rude. I'll have you know, I've been living here for 20 years. I'm Gorion's bastard son. Well, I suppose not bastard son. I'm not even his real son. Foster son, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. You should bloody well talk to me. Cheeky sod. Um. Oh, there you go. Watch your tongue. This is my home for a good part of my life, and I'll not have you slighting them in their own keep. Yes. I like that. Yeah, that told him. At least the monks were quiet in their condemnation. Yeah, shut up. You may have lived here, Davidoff. From the tone I wager you've forgotten much of the tack they should have taught. Leave us, please. Well, whatever. Stupid fool. OK. 
Okay, we'll have that. Thank you very much. What was that? Uh, the typical dagger has a pointed. Okay, a dagger. Okay. Who's this then? A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person. I'd much such as yourself. I'd Hang on. So if I'm socially acceptable, why have you just told me to leave you alone? Hey, eh? what's going on there? Whatever, love. Whatever. Let's talk to you. Hello, child. Shall we continue your lesson? Okay. So climb up the stairs. Okay. Let's see what's up the stairs. Um. Sorted. <laughs> I should really be talking a different voice in there. Oh, gold. I love that. Who's this? Uh, I've just nicked your gold, actually, so maybe I should just tiptoe out of there. Um, locked and key. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Um, is this my rage? Enraged. Character becomes enraged for one turn. Uh, okay. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Uh, okay. What's in here? Oh, still locked again. Mm. Sleeping dwarf. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I, I'm trying to. Uh, See what's in these locked again. Is there anything open? Oh, don't touch me. <laughs> I catch Might I help you? Um, I don't really want to say I'm trying to nick stuff from him. I like I say, I'm I'm a neutral evil. I'm I'm interested in my own development, but I'm not necessarily uh, out to to injure or hurt people just for the sake of it, so we'll go with that. I might very well be anyone, but I am Christian of Waterdeep. Likely we don't have a family name or history and this suits me well and good. These trips to Candlekeep are a bit of an extravagance on my part. While I use no illicit substances or neither consult with hired company, I spent quite enough here that I should not like it common knowledge. To this end I should appreciate it if you will forgo your odd little attempt at introduction to leave it to my thoughts. Well, fine, piss off. Horrible man. I'm only saying hello. I am the foster son of Gorion, do you not know? Away with you, beggar! <laughs> well, they're bloody rude in this place, aren't they? Bloody rude. Um. Explain myself. You are some pompous noble, and I'm here to take your belongings. Um. You know what? I'm not, I, I don't like people speaking to me like I'm a piece of shit. A simple mistake, and no cause for excitement, buddy. Watch your words. Watch your words. I have never been treated in such a manner. Now oh, shut up, fool. Or I'll stick you with my pokey sword. I'm on it. Okay. Let's talk to this fella. Who is he? It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Firebead elven hair. <laughs> is that an attempt at a Yorkshire accent by him? Ah, oh. oh, yes, I'm back within the hallowed halls of Candlekeep. With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Beragos was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Garion's Gar ward, aren't you? My, you've come into your own. If you'll permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. I'll have to not identify a scroll with Teth Torrell in the inner grounds. You should be done examining it by now. So if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. Journal updated, Firebeard Scroll. Uh, that's not my journal. Um, Firebead Scroll. Firebead Elven here, an old mage who makes the occasional visit here from Beragos has left an identified scroll. Um, okay, so we've, we've got to go find it from the inner grounds, wherever 
wherever they are. Fine. Um, okay. Well, we've got a little bit of uh, we've got a little bit of gold left, I think. Um, so we've got forty-three gold. Um, you know, ordinarily I would try and buy some boots or um, other armor, but it doesn't look like there's any available. Um, I think we'll stick with our with our sword for now. Um, maybe we will have a quick look at the Morning Star and see what its see what its stats are like. Um, otherwise, it looks like we're right. What's this? Looks then? like we're done in here. I think. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Two D four crushing. Um. Oh, go on then. We've got we've got forty three. Why not? Okay. Um. I don't. Can you put that in your in your quick slots? Yes, you can. Super. Um. Okay. Quick weapons, cool. Do they appear down here anywhere? Aha. So you can switch between the two. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, all right. Well, I think we'll call this introduction to a close. So we've we've got Davidoff, our half orc, our neutral evil. Uh, he's obsessed with developing himself and and getting to where he needs to be. He's he's feeling kind of all over the place at the moment. Guayan's not talking to him, he's been really distant, he doesn't know what the hell is going on. Um, he's just been sent off to buy some kit, so we've bought some kit. Um, we've got this task from this old mage over here to find an identify scroll, whatever that is, um, from the inner keep, or the inner grounds, or whatever it was. Um, so Davidoff's kind of in a bit of a muddle right now, but um, you know, this is his home, he's used to it. What else could possibly happen in his home, he feels pretty safe, he's kind of just marching around, bossing his way around, so um, we'll carry on marching around and bossing around and, and see where we end up next time, so um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next episode, cheers, bye.